Hi everyone, welcome to Uniform Circular Motion. This is a topic many students struggle with, but we're going to be going nice and easy, learning about all these principles of things going in circles. Alright, so let's look at this. Uniform Circular Motion, the motion of an object in a circle with a constant or uniform speed and a constant radius. So like we know, speed is distance over time. If things are going in a circle, it's going to be the circumference divided by the time. So 2 pi r divided by the period, or what we call the period, how long it takes to make, uh, how long it takes an object to make a full revolution. And if we were to look at each one of these bulbs, let's call this light bulb A, light bulb B, and light bulb C, we can see they all go around at the same amount of time. However, C is traveling a lot further, so C is going to be the fastest, while A is going to be the slowest. Okay, so a little bit of knowledge there. Let's look at this example. If a meter, if a 10 meter wire is swung in a circle and it takes 0.8 seconds for the wire to come all the way around, what is the speed that is experienced by light bulb A and light bulb B? Light bulb A is placed exactly halfway from the end of the row. So we know this whole thing is 10 meters. Light bulb A is going to be 5 meters halfway. So let's find the light bulb uh, velocity of B, light bulb B. We know it's 2 pi r divided by t. So let's figure that out. Vb is going to be equal to 2 pi r. It's going to be 10 meters from where it's spinning. And it takes 0.8 seconds to go all the way around. And then, so let's put that into our calculators. 2 pi 10 divided by 0.8. And we get 78.54 meters per second. That's how fast light bulb B is going. Now let's figure out light bulb A. Okay, we should know this one is going to be slower because it's further from the radius. And they go around at exactly the same time, but they don't cover as much distance. So let's see, 2 pi, and the radius this time is going to be 5 meters because that's how far it is from where it's spinning. And the time is the same, 0.8. And let's figure out what this is going to be. 2 pi times 5 divided by 0.8. And we see that it's actually exactly half, 39.27 meters per second. Okay, and that's because it's halfway from where light bulb B is. Alright, let's continue. Objects moving in uniform circular motion will have a constant speed, but does this uh does this does not mean that they will have a constant velocity. Explain how an object can have a constant speed but not a constant velocity. So this may seem a little confusing. However, if something is like moving in a circle. It may have a constant speed as it moves in the circle, but it's always going to have a different direction. It's not moving in a straight line. And remember, velocity includes direction. So if the direction is constantly changing, that means the velocity is changing, okay? Even though it has the same speed. So something is going in a curve like this, even though it might have the same speed throughout the whole thing, the direction is always changing, and that's why there's going to be an acceleration. And we call that acceleration centripetal acceleration. Acceleration centripetal. Okay. These are the main definitions of what you need to do know. So if you need to pause it and write it down, do that. But this is all for this video. Uh, we'll be doing harder example problems next time. So I hope you to see you for that. Thanks for watching, everyone.